Hi guys, and welcome to DIY Crafts. So today, we are going to stick with our Christmas theme, our holiday theme, and our gift giving theme. Um, and I'm going to teach you guys how to decorate, either decorate presents, or decorate your home, or decorate for um, any season that you can think of, because bows are great for everything. They're great for birthdays, they're great for holidays, they're great for wrapping presents and giving gifts. So the first bow that I'm going to teach you guys how to make is with something that you will have at your Hopefully your disposal at home. Um, you're gonna need a stapler. You're gonna need scissors. And you're gonna need magazine paper. Or if you don't have magazine paper, you're gonna need all of those scrap pieces or those leftover small pieces of wrapping paper that you never have a present to wrap them with. So I'm gonna show you guys how to take that extra wrapping paper that you have hanging around that is too small to wrap anything worthy, but is totally worth it for making a really cute bow. So we're gonna turn this into this. Look familiar? These are the bows that you get from the dollar store or um, wherever, and I'm gonna teach you guys how to make them. This one's better. This one came out kind of wonky. So like I said, things you need is that scrap wrapping paper and or um, magazine paper. Either one will do. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna take a sheet of um, magazine paper or those leftover wrapping paper and you're gonna cut it into strips. And so for me, what I went ahead and did is I cut them into strips approximately six inches long. So I did three at six inches long Ooh, oh. So here's my three at six inches. I did another three at about four to five inches. And I did another three about three to five inches. So as you, it doesn't really matter the size um, so much as the fact that you have nine pieces in total. And for each set of three, you're making them smaller and smaller. So for instance, this is my first set of three. This is my second set of three, just a little bit shorter. And this is my third set of three, just a little bit shorter than the ones before. So what you're gonna wanna do, working in your sets of three, you're gonna take it like so, and you're just gonna take the end and fold it in and centered right here. So you get that little loop right there. And the same thing, you're gonna take the end you're going to fold it in and flip it. And then, ta-da, you have your first little loop like this. Also looks like this. And then you're going to take your stapler. Once you have it to the point where you like it. So I want to keep some space in here. So I'm going to take my stapler. I'm going to put it right in the middle. Right, staple right there. Just like you see when you actually get the bows from the store. They have one staple in the center. We're going to be using multiple staples, but this is what it looks like. So you're going to make nine of these. Or depending on how fluffy or how large you want your bow, you're going to make several of them. So this is one. I'm going to go ahead, take the end, flip it inward like so, and flip it in, and flip it in. And you see if you do it that way, it comes out kind of weird. So depending on which way you do it, you might want to flip it the other direction, which makes a lot more sense when you're actually doing it. So go ahead and flip. Go ahead and flip. And you'll know if you're doing it right, because if you're not doing it right, you're not going to get that pretty bow shape. Okay. So once you do that, once again, you're going to take it. <laughs> you're gonna staple it. Okay. The smaller pieces are harder to work with. So if you're struggling to get the hang of this, definitely start with the larger pieces. So I'm gonna take a larger piece and show you guys how it works. All right. So 
So take the one of the long pieces, I'm gonna take the end, fold it inwards, like so. You get that really big loop right there. It's like that. It's like that on the other side. Same thing, and take the end, fold it basically in and on itself. And you're gonna get that other loop as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and staple it. And it's gonna look like this. Okay, the same thing. You might wanna do it um, all the same way. I have double-sided wrapping paper. So if you don't have double-sided wrapping paper, you might wanna make sure that you're paying attention to which direction you're going in. That way you have all one color and you don't have that inner white with the cut marks on it. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. Fold it in. Fold it in so that I get my little loop. And then I'm going to put a staple right in the center. Ta da! So then I'm just going to show you guys kind of how it's going to start to look. So I have a glue gun right here. I'm just going to put a very little bit of glue on the center there. I'm going to go ahead and squish this one right in the center. And my bow is already starting to shake shape. Pretty cool. So those are two of those little loops that you just made. We're putting them together. I'm going to go ahead with my medium sized one. And I'm going to loop it into the center. Again. And loop it into the center again. Bear with me. It's easier to do right side up than upside down. Like this. So I got my little loops on both sides. And then I'm going to go ahead and staple it in the center. Like this. And then I'm going to take this. I'm going to put a little bit of glue right here. And again, I'm just using a glue gun. Sorry. Just using a glue gun. I'm going to put a very little bit of glue right there. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to stick it right in the center. And so you'll see my bow is starting to take shape. So you can do as many of these loops as you want. The more you do, the fluffier your bow is going to get, um, depending on your various sizes. Um, will depend on how large your bow is and how fluffy it looks. So for me, I did six, five, four. You can do eight inches. Then you can do six inches, um, so on and so forth, until you get kind of the desired look you're going for. So again, a little glue, and I'm going to go ahead and stick this right in the center here. And I'm using a glue gun because I find the glue gun to be kind of forgiving. When you put it in, you can kind of twist it to the designated area you want it to be in. And if you squish your things, go ahead and just open them up, fluff it up a little bit, just like you do when you get them from the store. So we're getting there. All right, flip that a little bit. And then, so I can keep going here, but I'm gonna stop for time's sake. I'm just gonna show you how to do that very last one so you don't see that staple there. You're just gonna take a very small piece, it doesn't have to be huge, very small piece, and you're just gonna fold it over and make like a little circle, just like this, a little circle. And I'm just gonna glue that all together so it doesn't go anywhere. Like this, nice and glued. So now it's stuck. I have this little cylinder. And then I'm going to take glue once again. I'm going to put it on the very end of this. And then I'm going to take this and then just put it in the center here. And so you can see, I definitely need some more. But this is basically what you would get at the store. And you just made it yourself. So it's a little bit more authentic. Um, if your family is like mine and they really appreciate homemade gifts, this really shows that you went the extra mile. Not only did you wrap the present, which is an adventure in and of itself, <laughs> but you created your own little bow for it. And this is great for any type of wrapping job you're gonna do. Um, it's even cute for like a headband if you really wanna go that way, I don't know. Um, but this is a great way to get rid of that magazine paper that is piling up in your home. 
So it's also a great way to get rid of or use up those little tiny pieces of wrapping paper that you can't figure out what to do and you don't want to throw away. So this is one bow. Again, you get your variety here. And this is actually both out of wrapping paper. This is the same exact wrapping paper. This is one side of the wrapping paper and this is the other side because it's double-sided wrapping paper. And then this right here is out of magazine paper, which I actually really like because there's so much going on and there's so many different colors. All right. So the next thing you're going to do for the next bow that we're going to make, I'm going to teach you guys how to make a bow using a fork. I know, weird. You're looking at me looking crazy. So this is an extra large fork, but any fork will do. Then you're going to need ribbon and you're going to need scissors. And that's all you're going to need scissors and that's all you're going to need. So you're going to take your ribbon. You'll leave it on your spool. You're going to go ahead and put it through your fork here and go ahead and hold it down here. And then from here, you're just gonna go in and out like this. And you're gonna go back in carefully and go the opposite direction. And you're gonna do this a couple times. So let's see how many times we can do it. In and out, in and out, just like you're weaving a basket like this. And go back in and you can go ahead and squish it down. Don't feel bad about squishing your ribbon, it's totally okay. So, again, just go the opposite direction you went before, like this. Go ahead and squish it down. And do it as many times as you want. It's totally up to you. Um, the more you do it, the fluffier your bow is going to be. And I'm going to leave it like this. So now I have my ribbon on my fork. I'm going to go ahead and hold both ends pretty tight. I'm going to squish this down. And I'm going to cut my ribbon out here somewhere. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it probably about here. So now I have two ends and it's still on the fork. Now how am I going to get it off the fork? That's always the question. So you're going to need a little bit more ribbon. So go ahead and cut maybe like a three inch piece, four inch piece, depending on how clumsy you are. <laughs> or if you have big fingers like I do. So I have my fork. I'm gonna go ahead and squish this together right here in the center. Not letting go of either one of my tails because I don't wanna lose them. And I'm gonna take this extra ribbon, put it through the top in the center and through the bottom in the center, like so. So then it's hanging out. And then I'm gonna go ahead and tie this super tight. So let's see here. Again, my fingers, they work really well. Alrighty, go ahead and tie it really tight. Like this. And I'm gonna go ahead and tie it one more time just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. So I'm gonna squish it really tight. Tie it one more time. And there we go, I have it super tight. And now I'm just gonna take it off the fork, are you ready? fork bow. So there we go. I have this super pretty, super cute bow. It's got my cute little tails, but then I have these things hanging out and I don't want these things. So this is, this is super easy. Make sure it's super tight and then go ahead and just cut it off. You want to cut it as close as you can. So do the same thing. The alternative to cutting this off, you could leave this and have these be your tails. And then instead of leaving these out extra, what you could have done is just wrapped these in and tied your bow, tied um, your center string closer. I like the extra long tails and I don't mind this box. I'm gonna actually, I plan on gluing this. So depending on what your, um, like what you plan on using this bow for would depend on kind of what you wanna do. But the fork trick works really well. And then you can just kind of fluff it up a little. And then you have this cute little bow. And these bows are perfect for those cute little tiny presents that you don't want to put one of these giant bows on. Unless you're like me and you love giant bows and you want to put them on everything. So I have this really cute bow. 
I have this really cute Christmas tree. And what I can do is I just made myself a beautiful tree topper. See? Pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, so that right there is two bows. But I promised you guys I would teach you how to make three bows. So you're ready for the grand finale? You always save the best for last. So the last one I have for you is how to make one of these giant ribbon bows. I know you guys see them all the time. You can buy them. They're pretty expensive because they're huge and they take up a lot of um, um, fabric material, whatever. So I'm going to show you guys how to make this really large bow. Are you ready? So right here I have, this is 2.5 inch um, ribbon, but really thick ribbon. It's wired ribbon. You kind of want to do the wired ribbon because once you make a big fluffy bow, you want to be able to fluff it up. And the wire is what's going to help you fluff it up. So ideally for this, you only need three things. You need the ribbon, approximately um, 10 yards of it, 8 yards of it. I think they sell them 10, 15, whatever. You're going to need a piece of um, floral wire, craft wire. Uh, if you don't have floral wire or craft wire, what works really, really good is twist ties. You know, the ones you get in your trash bags. Twist ties work great. Um, and if you don't have those, then pipe cleaners also work really well. I didn't have either. This is just scrap wire that I found lying around the house. It's going to be hidden in your bow, so you really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what the wire is, you're going to hide it. But wire, bow, scissors. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this on the floor. Because <laughs> I'm going to start by the end. So you're start at the end. You're going to go ahead and make a loop like this. That's it. Loop like this. Tuck it under. And the most important thing is you're going to do a lot of twisting. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to kind of scrunch this up right here. And I'm going to fold it over. And I'm going to scrunch it up again. And once I have that little scrunch, I'm going to go ahead and make sure it's kind of tucked in pretty well. And I'm going to twist. And this is going to be the key thing. You need to make sure that you twist. If you don't twist, you won't have a good ribbon. So twist, make a loop. Go ahead and twist again. And we'll go to the other side. And we'll make a loop about the same size. Like this. And we'll twist again. Notice I'm keeping my finger in the center. And as I twist, I'm going to put my finger down on the bottom. Because what's going to happen is my wire is going to go through this hole and it's going to wrap down the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead again, I'm going to twist. You want them to be a little bit bigger every single time. Maybe keep a couple of the same size as you go. Um, it's up to you. I'm going to make that one a little bit bigger. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the center and twist it. And keeping that pinch nice and tight so you don't lose it. I'm going to make my other... Do my loop on my other side. And here we go. This twist at the bottom here. And make the loop. Bring it back to the center. Twist it. Bring it to the other side. Make your loop. There we go. And I'm going to twist it again. Now each time I bring it to the center, I twist it in the center and then relocate my grip. So I'm keeping that nice and squished. Okay. So I'm going to start making them a little bit bigger. Then bring it there, make my loop, twist it underneath, and make my loop on the other side. Bring it to the center. Twist it. So you just want to keep an eye on how much you have. So right now I have quite a lot left. So I'm going to go ahead and keep going. And I usually go all the way to the end. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So I'm going to go ahead and put it to the center. Twist it once again. Make sure I'm keeping everything nice and tight. 
go ahead, floop. Twist it. <laughs> Loop again, back to the center. Notice that I'm not really caring how the bow looks right now. I'm just looping. So we're going to fluff it at the end. So go ahead and twist it again. Readjust your grip here. Bring it back to the center. I'm a little bit bigger. I don't want my loops to be too, too big. Twist it. Go to the other side, twist it. This is very, very repetitive, but it's good because that's how you learn. Bring it back to the center, twist it one more time. And I'm pretty much at the end here, but I want to make sure I have the same amount on each side. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So you want to make sure you have the same amount of loops on each side. Notice all of my loops are on either side here. They're all fairly even and I have lots of leftover. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my leftover. Let's see how much I have. I have quite a lot. So I'm going to do one more round of loops. I'm going to go ahead, do it there, twist it. Bring it to the other side, bring it to the center, twist it again. You always want to end on a twist. That's what's going to keep this whole thing together is that silly twist. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make really, really big loops. And those loops are going to be my tails. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off its little reel. That's it. That's the end of it. I want to fold this in half so I want to see how much I have left. There's my halfway point and there's my halfway point again. So I'm going to take my halfway point and that's going to be my last really large loop. So all the way here. So that's your really really large loop. Same thing you're going to twist it twist it and then take that very last bit bring it all the way up to the top and that's it so I have these really large large loops down the bottom now I'm going to take my wire I'm going to put my wire through the center hole at the top here Without stabbing yourself. It's always the hard part. All right. And then I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom here. All the way down here. Make sure you get in the center. Down the bottom. Down the center. And you're going to tie that ridiculously tight because so you don't want it to fall out. So go ahead and squish your ribbon down on the table. I'll push you guys down here so you guys can see. And all I'm doing is making sure this is really, really tight. And then I'm going to twist it. There's a theme here. Lots and lots of twisting. And you want to have leftover wire. So I made sure my wire is really long because depending on where you're going to put this depends on... Um, how much wire you're gonna to need to hang it on whatever you're putting it up. Okay, I'm gonna flip you guys back up. So here's my bow. Looks really, really raggedy. Looks kind of like it needs some serious love. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fluff her up. So this is our center loop right here. And we're gonna go ahead and fluff this one up. And as you fluff, you kind of wanna flip it in different directions. So one's gonna go down, one's gonna go up. And same thing on the other side. One's gonna go down, one's gonna go up. And you're just gonna kind of, that's the beauty of the wires, you're gonna be able to shape it more. So, give me a second here, let's fluff this up. One goes down, 
one goes up, one goes down, one goes up, one goes down, one goes up. Notice how fluffy this side is, and this side is not, so we're going to fluff this side up. So, one goes down, one goes up, one goes up, one goes down, up, down. Okay, so now we have this beautiful bottom, but what am I going to do with the tail? So I made the tails loops, and I did that for a reason. And one's a little bit shorter than the other one, and I also did that for a reason. So you're going to take your short tail. Go ahead and squish it like this. And I'm going to fold it in half, like so. Okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut on an angle. And what that leaves me with is that pretty little um, award-winning look. And then the same thing. Fold this in half. Fold it in half again. And go ahead and cut it on an angle. And wait for it. Oh, I've, been, I've been wired. This is your bow. I really need some fluffing still. Up, down, up, down, up, down. And then kind of fluff it whichever direction you want it to be fluffed in. And then since we twisted these, what we have to do is twist them back in the right direction. And because it's wire, it's super easy to do. Same thing, this one's kind of facing the wrong direction. So we're gonna twist that so it faces the right direction. And then there we go, I have two long ones and two short ones. So what you can do to add a little bit of extra flair to this is you can go ahead and take this and make it like an accordion. So, and I'll show you what I mean. So I'm gonna take it, fold 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 it, give it a little squish. And then what that does is it gives your ribbon that little bounce that you're looking for. See that? It's the same thing. You can do that with all of these. You kind of just squish it as you go. Here. Here and here. And then there we go. So this would make like a really good tree topper. This would also look really good on a wreath. Um, so if you guys have been following me weekly, religiously, whatever, I a couple weeks ago I showed you guys how to make mesh wreaths. So I actually did another mesh wreath and I put one of these ribbons on the bottom because the one that I made was a little bit crazy and wild and some people don't like the crazy and wild. Some people like more of the simplicity. So this ribbon or something similar to this I put on the mesh wreath and I'll actually show it to you guys. Give me just a second. So I have this gorgeous mesh wreath. Okay, looks pretty awesome, but it's missing something. It needs more life. So what I did, I put this beautiful giant bow on the bottom of it, curled the bottom, and then this is it. That's the wreath. So we took something that was really bland and we jazzed it up with the ribbon. And you can do the same thing with whatever you decide to, wherever you decide to put your big bow on. This is great for presents as well. It's also great for tree toppers. It's also great just for doors or um, staircases. Wherever you want to put it around the house, this looks gorgeous. Go ahead. Super easy to make. You're making loops, you're twisting, and then you tie it with a rum. You tie it off at the end. So I hope you guys enjoyed our ribbon DIY. And now you have something to do with all those extra magazines or extra pieces of wrapping paper. And now you have a new use for forks that you never knew you had a use for. <laughs> Until next week, join us next week. I'm going to teach you guys how to make some really cool mug gifts. And by mug gifts, I'm talking about mug dessert gifts. They're delicious and super easy to make. Um, until next week, I'll see you guys all then.